the formats of original entry. The formats of books of original entry. It may vary depending on the specific type of books and accounting system used. However, there is a general outline format for books of original entry. Let's take number one. In books of original entry, we have the heading. Each books of original entry typically starts with a heading that identifies the book's purposes, the name, and any other relevant information. The heading may sometimes include details such as the name of the book, the period covered, and the company's name or logo sometimes. Another thing to know under the format is uh, the columns. For the columns, books of original entries are structured with columns to capture details, to capture specific details of the transactions. The number and arrangement of columns may vary depending on the type of book being prepared. Let's talk about the common columns, which may include the date, the description. The date in this instance is the date on which the transaction occurred. The description. The, the description means a brief description or reference to identify the particular transactions. The debit. The amount debit for the transaction, if there's any. The credit, the amount credits for the transaction, if there is any. And total, a column will be created to calculate the total for each section or page for the format. Another point is rows. For the rows, each transaction is recorded in a separate row or line within the book. The details of the transaction are entered in the corresponding columns. Another point is page numbers. Books of original entry typically have page numbers assigned to each page for easy identification or reference and tracking. Number five in formats is totals and subtotals. Depending on the book, they may be subtotals or totals calculated periodically. For example, in the cash book, they may be subtotals for mostly cash receipts and cash payments as well as a running cash balance. Number six is under the format is additional columns or section. This is sometimes common. Some books of original entry may have additional columns or sections specific to the nature of the transactions being recorded. For instance, the sales journal may include columns for customer names, the sales tax or invoice number. Number seven points in the format is supporting information. Books of original entry may provide space or a designated area to include supporting information such as check numbers, invoice copies, or additional notes related to the transactions. It is important to note that the format and layout of books of original entry it may vary based on individual businesses, preferences, accounting software used, or industry specific requirements. However, the main objective of them all is to have a clear and structured format that accurately captures and organizes the necessary information for recording transactions.